Hello. In this session, I would like to discuss about clean price and dirty price, which is you know used in day-to-day -day transactions of fixed income market. When we say fixed income, it means I'm talking about bonds. I'm talking about government bonds. I'm talking about corporate or private bonds. All right. So let's discuss about it. How that you know the clean and dirty price which is uh, which you know widely used in this particular fixed income market and this may definitely help you to uh, if you see any questions in your interview around this so it may help you for that as well all right see if i talk about let's say let's take example to understand this clean price and dirty price abc corp has issued bonds with the price of 10000 for per bonds at 10 percent interest payment for per annum for a 364 days so it means in a one year 364 days you know it will be assumed and you know process the interest payment for a 364 days because it's a convention so if i compute the interest payment for a 364 days or 10 percent you know interest payment on bond investment it would be around 1000 somewhere see originally company sold the bonds to the a or let's say originally means at the time of you know first contractor transaction of this bond this a investor participated in private placement event of abc corporation and purchased bonds from abc corporation directly but you know see as the investor uh, in in your life as well if i talk about let's say your investors and you have invested you know multiple securities and all what happens sometime let's say if you don't have a liquidity then we always you know try to liquidate you know investments and get release you know cash from the investments to spend somewhere that's the natural human tendency i would say and this rule applies to everyone because last week only i had you know investments in a few of the securities and i wanted some liquid cash i sold out so same thing happened with the big investors as well as even you know common people as well all right so now if we talk about let's say the interest payment if you see this interest payment is yearly but this a investor who had invested in this particular bonds means abc corporations bonds now this guy is looking for sell of this bonds see this guy cannot sell bonds back to the company so it means company will not even pay principal amount and even interest payment as well why because the bond which is a fixed income instrument and bond you know comes with maturity maybe five year 10 year 20 years correct same applies to the interest payment as well because coupon frequency is yearly so it means company will process payment yearly only but if this guy want to sell bonds to someone else at the moment so it means when we say at the moment so we are assuming it this guy has hold this bond for it 180 days so it means this guy will expect accrued interest payment for 180 days from the new buyer whosoever is really interested to buy bonds from a right let's say this a got you know the b b is also investors and b is really interested about you know buying these bonds from the a then b will pay by price of a you know principal value of a bond which is ten thousand along with that you know for 180 days it means which is something if you just compute the interest payment it would be around somewhere 500 rupees this b is also ready to pay a crude interest payment which is ten thousand five hundred means 500 as interest payment and principal amount which is something here 10,000. So B is ready to buy bonds at this price. See, if you see in a bond price, the accrued interest payment, which is included in the actual price of a bond, right? Actual price of a bond. So in short, if anyone is buying bonds along with the accrued interest payment, and if that party, let's say, is ready to pay principal amount plus interest payment to the seller then for a buyer right for a buyer or from a you know buyer's perspective that bond pricing would be dirty price why so in short if you see principal amount 
plus interest payment so which uh, you know <coughs> equal uh, equal to the dirty price so it means buyer will have to pay interest payment at the moment because at the end of the year abc corporation you know will settle the 1000 interest payment to the b directly and but see here the point is why we are calling dirty the reason is this b is also paying you know interest payment something uh, if you just calculate the value of this interest payment through npv or dcf so it affects the you know uh, affects on the uh, the cash flow of that uh, 500 as well but that see the point here is if anyone is buying bonds along with the accrued interest payment that price will call it as a dirty price and now if i talk about let's say clean pricing what is clean pricing or clean price clean price it means bond without accrued interest payment let's say there is no accrued interest payment means at the end of the year you know once the interest payment is settled then uh, on the very next day your bond will be like clean so it means there won't be any interest payment with attached to it so if you sell these bonds to someone else at that time so it means there won't be any interest payment you know with attached to the bond so that bond price becomes clean price so in short if anyone is buying bonds at only principal price so that becomes clean pricing all right so this pricing process which is widely used as i said in a fixed income process or in a bond process or even in a money market process as well because most of the money market instruments and fixed income instruments counterparties they purchase along with the interest payment as well the reason is interest payment which is something economic benefit and that the buyer also will you know receive that interest payment on pre uh, defined date of issuer issuer it could be government or even private companies so it depends so this is how your you know clean price and dirty price works see guys dirty price in short is nothing but it's just you know the uh, accrued interest or accumulated i would say interest amount or accrued interest amount of that fixed income because when we say fixed bonds you know bonds is a part of fixed income instrument so every day that bonds offer interest payment or income opportunity so it's just accumulated you know the benefit that the buyer will process to the seller and the seller also will happy because the seller if the you know receive the accrued interest as well then seller will again say look now i'm very happy because i got the amount without any hassle because otherwise seller will have to hold till the at least you know one year to get the interest payment and then seller will look for a buyer to sell the securities to someone else so this clean pricing uh, or dirty pricing which helps actually buyer and seller to maintain the liquidity in the market so don't only look from the a trade settlement perspective in terms of even trade settlement perspective also if it is a dirty price then bond will settle along with the interest payment so you should count the days and you know interest rates and everything and then only you should settle the bonds in the bookshop counterparty whether it is a buyer or seller otherwise it affects on the economic terms of a contract all right so this was all about clean pricing and dirty pricing if you have any questions please go ahead go ahead and comment accordingly uh, we'll try to answer to your questions as well. So yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for watching this. We'll see you next session. Thank you